Hello YouTube, welcome back to my playthrough of Modern Warfare 2019. I hope that you guys are enjoying this series, and if you are, please do drop a like. It does help the series out a lot. So we're going to be doing two missions, Highway of Death right here. Let's start this up. The wolf is with the butcher. Terrorist cells in the city will hide them. Bravo will clear house to house in search. My people will help you. If they try to escape to the mountains, there is only one road. Tariq al -Mut. The highway of death. The Russians bombed it during the invasion, killing the people trying to escape. There is a village at the crossroads. I sent Hadir and his fighters there to prepare an ambush. Alex and I will join them and take up firing positions above the road, lying in wait for the wolf. This is one of my favorite missions in the game. The highway is below us. Hadir has reinforcements positioned to ambush the wolf. We're easy prey for the Russians out here. Yes, our window is short. Barkov's men will be on the hunt. He has lost control. He will come to take it back. Is it home? Let's move. We have to cut the wolf off at the pass. Before the war, this village had families and laughter. Laughter is the best medicine. Tell me a joke. What happens when the CIA goes to sleep? What? They go undercover. Not bad. Probably better in English. You told it in English. A lot of people thought that... A lot of people thought that meant that Alex was ghost, but it turns out Alex wasn't ghost. My father called Hadir Shabal. He's a little liar. What happened to him? He died, fighting. Alex, this way. So that, um, that's also important that Hadir's nickname was Little Lion. Alex, check this out. 338 Lapua, armor piercing at 600 meters. I put it together myself. Please, use it. Solid heater. Protect her with your life. She will do the same for you. Thanks, Hadir. Lapua Magnum, this... I'll spot for you, Alex. If this hits yeah, somebody, this is gonna t completely rip Make them apart. Lie flat. It's one of the strongest Look cartridges. Look through your scope. Let's get you dialed in. Look for the glinting light near the highway. Got it. Ali, it's the Bill by Ian. Stay with him and you'll see my team near the road. Yep, I see him. They'll support us when we attack the Alcatala convoy. Riza, halt in the Hadaf Jinbal bus. <laughs> and to Juani. Vertical notches adjust so, the distance. Each one is 200 meters. The wind is going to the left. The target is 400 meters away. Aim two notches above it. Miss. Don't let it scare you, Alex. <laughs> she speaks to you, Alex. My brother, your biggest fan. Let's try another target at a different range. There's a blue house in the distance. Can you see it? I do like s stuff like this. Like they finally There's made like the house. sniping more realistic in modern warfare. On the box. Range 600 meters. Fire when you're ready. Okay, let's see here. You're too low. Oh. Range is 600 meters. Hit. Got it. I heard that. His root skilling, his fruit killing kill, his skills are remarkable. It's an Easter egg to Modern Remember, Warfare One. Use the environment to your advantage. Flags for wind direction, landmarks for distance. Understood. Good. Now, watch the highway for activity. They won't be long now. In real life, um, there's, you know, obviously bullet drop on rifles at longer distance, but it's not as much as in video games. Like, in video games, they portray it, like, Nothing a lot. Like, Modern Warfare, it's actually a bit more realistic. Um, there's not that, and, like, you know, a rifle like this is not gonna have that much bullet drop, especially a distance like that, but a little bit it'll have. Uh... Just some stray dogs. Keep scanning the road. 
The wolf will be here soon. I hear a car. Mashi, la te hejimu. They spotted the vehicle. Right side. Could be the wolf or his men. Looks like we finally got some company. They're scouts for the wolf. Hold your fire. Wait for a clean shot. Ali! Shaif on she. I'm your actual sotter. Eyes on the roof, Alex. Two on the roof. Yep, I see him. Four hundred meters. Fire when you're ready. Good hit. One more. Nice Got him. Two of the wolf scouts gone. Ali, yalla ruh. Hadir is resourceful. He has them setting a trap for the wolf's men. Alex, cover the team rigging the truck. Killing the wolf doesn't guarantee us the stolen gas. True. What happens if you don't find it? I have to. That's an improvised explosive device, is what IED is. The wolf's men will have to move the truck to pass through. Wait until they're close, then detonate it. The wolf soldiers are here, Alex. Right side of the highway. Three Alcatala vehicles. I see. Check fire. Let them get in range. Let them resum? La. Gileon ye arabu akhtar. Closer. Go on. Don't be shy. They see it. They're moving to the track. Hadir. I see them. Get ready, Alex. Detonate the truck, Alex. Do it. Ooh. Open fire! Get to the right of the bus. Hit! Nice. Okay, two in one shot. Got him, okay. Wind is still going to the right. AQ on the bus! Good hit! Inside the bus. Whenever I play as a sniper in games, oftentimes I wait for the target to stop. Check the windows. Hit. Check the rooftops. Oh, here we go. Hadir, pull your team back. Shoot it back up. Do it. Ali, fall back. Get out of there. Shoot the engines. Stop them. It's down. Good hit. It's 
not gonna be any winded bullet drop at this distance. the mortar keys. Okay, reload, hunt. Okay, let's see. Where do we got the mortar teams now? Eyes on. Oh, I got you. Got Get you. Down. Got you. Alex, there is another Alcatala mortar team. Take them out. In my sense. There you are. Clear. They're down. Negative. There's still a mortar out there. On him. Oh, this one's far, okay. Borders are clear. Suicide truck, left side, left side! Hit it again! Oh no. Stop that truck, Alex! Hit the truck! Hit the truck now! Aim for the driver! Shoot it, Alex! Shoot it! Ooh. Close call. Good shooting, Alex. The wolf must be coming, or they wouldn't send these forces to clear the way. Start planting IEDs, brother. Hadir and I will reinforce the perimeter, Alex. Get to the east bunker and resupply for the wolf. What do we got here? Okay, I like this. AK with a grenade launcher. This will come in handy, definitely. More explosives, Hadir? Never too much. Same as before. Enemies get close, detonate them. Watch your distance. Alex, Captain Price is calling on the radio. He says it's urgent. This. Ah. Echo three one for actual. Alex, the wolf fled the city. Headed your Whoa. way. The Russians are right behind him. Get down. Troops in contact. Actual. Stay low. Don't let him see you. Copy. On our way. Stay covered. Those shots came from the highway. You know what I find very realistic about this game when it comes to this, the snipers in this game? That the enemies and your allies just duck down like that. Like, you would not, at a distance like this, it'd be very hard to tell exactly where the sniper is firing from. You'd be able, you might be able to tell the general area, but it would be very hard to tell exactly where the sniper is. Oh, I got you. Look for the dust to kick up. Wind shifted. It's much stronger now. You'll have to adjust. Four notches to the left. Reacquiring. Repositioning. What's he got to be firing with? A dragon off, probably? Yeah. Got 
Got him. Okay. Good kill, Alex. Alcatala is regrouping across the highway. This could be him. Here's a fact for you guys. Um. That's six hundred meters, Alex. Hit them. Okay. Let's see. Six hundred meters. Where? Oh. Got more mortar teams. Okay. Yeah. The wind. Notice how like the enemies just jump on the floor like when they're getting shot at. Yet. Yeah. That's pretty realistic. Though, they would generally try to find some cover, but quickly. But here's a fact for you guys. During World War II, um... During World War II, the greatest fear that snipers typically had was another sniper. That's typically what snipers were the most um, uh, fearful of. But in today's day and age of warfare, do you know what snipers are most fearful of? It's not even other snipers, it's artillery. Because artillery, um, drone strikes can be called in very fast, where in World War II it took uh, several minutes to call something in, and the airstrikes today could completely level an area, so if a sniper gets spotted, sniper... Sniper has to get out of that area really quickly. Okay. Stop the Russian APCs now. Notice what I'm doing, guys. I'm trying my best to line them up as I can because it saves shots and reload time. Grenade launchers. I gotta make this count. We cannot wait. I've got more firepower in the truck. They're going to the building. Follow me. No guns with me. Get to my truck, Alex. It's full of explosives. It's time to use them. This is where you see the shocking moment now. Russian boys. Yes. And now we send it back to the Russians. The gas are in the bucket. Come quickly. Hadir, what is this? What's this? What? Hadir was the one who stole the gas at the beginning of the game. This is chlorine gas, which is very similar to the gas used in World War One. Hadir is a complete idiot.
the thing is, had, no, no, nobody talks about this scene, but Hadir just killed all of his uh, guys. All of his allies, except Farah and Alex, by doing that. Get out of me! How could you do this? We had no choice, Bella. All bets are off now. No. Oh, like this. This was the worst weapon of World War One, definitely. Listen to me. I stole the gas from the Russians. To help us, only to help us. Tell Farah. Tell her, Alex. This is just, um, you know, so messed up right now. And the thing is, not only did Khadir kill his allies, but even so, basically, this is the one of the worst things he could have done. Probably the worst thing he could do, because now what the Russians are gonna do is they're gonna literally say that, oh look, the uh, the Urziks are terrorists, so they have they used gas on our soldiers, so the Russians would just spin that as propaganda. So like, Khadir is just a complete idiot um, by doing that. This mission, I remember now, this is the, um, this is, this is, this mission is, is probably the most brutal mission in the game. Uh, definitely, I'd say. Oh, here we go, brick. So this is in 1999. Urzik stand again as a fictional country, but um, Russia invaded it in the 90s. So now this um this is probably this is probably based on when Russia invaded Chechnya in the 1990s. So after the fall of the Soviet Union, um, Chechnya declared its independence and Russia invaded it twice. And the war was really bad. And what ended up happening was in the um Oh yeah, this is the part when they use the gas. So that gas is that gas is really bad. Is you could um you you could go blind from it. You could go you could get paralyzed from it. Disfigurements can happen. 
close the windows, like you told me. Good boy. We'll be safe from the gas for now. Come with me to the kitchen, both of you. Where's Mama? Mama's not coming. Sorry, my boy. Why are they doing this, Baba? I think we helped the rebels. Here, take this mask, okay? Do we have one for Farah? Yes, you need your own. I'll help your sister. Come. Take these phones. Use them if we get separated. Cross the bridge and go to the mountains. We'll be safe there. Come. Where did they catch us, Baba? They will take you away and lock you up. I don't want to go. Okay. Listen, I know. We'll come back. I promise. Adir, you'll be strong for your sister now, okay? You keep Mama here and you keep this clear. That's how we survive. You understand? Yes, Baba. Listen, when we get outside, you stay with me, okay? Baba! Baba! Oh, you can find me! Please. There's no one here. It's only my children, please. Yeah, this, um... No. I didn't see this part coming when I, um... Uh... Yeah, if you try to help, um, that basically happens. So you can't, um, uh, you, you can't try to help your dad in that situation. Now you have to hide. This is like such a messed up uh, part of the game. You, you're playing as Child Farah, and you gotta hide from the soldier. This part reminds me a lot of Outlast. Also, Outlast is very similar gameplay to this, where you're hiding from crazy people. You have to try to find a weapon and quickly. Hey! I protect you. Don't be afraid. It's okay. The bad guys are gone. Enough of it. Come out here. So what I was saying earlier was when Russia invaded Chechnya, the first Chechen war, the Chechens were victorious, I believe. And then this, in the second Chechen war, uh, when the Russians invaded, I think Boris Yeltsin was the um, leader at the time. I can hear you. The Russian military had bombed Grozny um, so bad, that was the capital of Chechnya, that um, uh, the United Nations actually called Grozny the most destroyed city in the world. And so this is, um, uh, the invasion of Urzikstan, I believe, is based on that, because this takes place in the 1990s also, around the same time that that was going on. There is no escape, Mr. Come out and let's go outside. Screwdriver, okay. And this also, um, this the thing about this mission is the the media when they were the media were attacking modern warfare when this game first came out, saying it was too brutal and like too gruesome. But the thing is though is that. This shows you, like, the untold stories in, like, war, when you have stuff like this, because whenever you play war games and always, you're always a soldier, but you're never from the role of a civilian. And so this shows you what the perspective it is from a civilian. 
you know, when your country is getting invaded, but also from the perspective of a child that's trying to survive. And that's what's really messed up about this. Just give up! Oh, no, no, no. Where's the soldier? Yeah, this this does remind me a lot of Outlast. Ah! So I remember what uh, Farah's father said to Khadir, never back down. And I think Khadir always kept that close to him, and that's why he he's he would do everything that it takes to win, no matter how how psychotic or bad it is. That's why he took the gas. But it was wrong what he did. So, in this type of situation, you want to get out of there as quickly as possible, not just because of the hostile soldiers, but also because you don't want any of this gas touching your skin, you don't want any of this gas getting on you. You'd probably want to wear some heavier clothing. 
Just because you're wearing the gas mask doesn't mean that necessarily you're protected. You're not breathing it in, but some some gas can get on your skin. It isn't fair. They just kill everything. Now the thing is though is that um some people look at that but that's basically just survival instinct. I think most people would have tried to grab the mask at that point. This is like one of the worst weapons ever created. There's a reason that it was banned after World War 1. Also, during um, during World War One, um, uh, when the U.S. entered in night in April of 1917, the U.S. Uh, brought in trench shotguns um, into the war, and uh, semi-automatic shotguns like the Browning Auto A5. And uh, when they did that, the Germans actually complained about that, claiming that shotguns were inhumane, and demanded the U.S. stop using shotguns. But. They, they considered shotguns to be inhumane, but at the same time, the Germans were using gas and flamethrowers, which was a much worse weapon than shotguns. If we run away, they'll catch us. We need that truck. They'll hear you coughing. I will go. Find the gun. And if you get scared, use the phone to distract them. Don't be caught. I won't. You get a trophy if you actually kill both of these guys in one shot, but it's very hard to do. Oh, damn. Yeah, that's, um, I was trying to get them both in one shot, but I didn't get it. Uh, it's very hard to do. Got them both in one shot. There we go. You saved us. Let's get out of here. And it um. And the thing. You see how difficult it is for her to hold the revolver. But what I find weird about this mission is how she knows how to re reload the revolver. That's what I find a little bit weird about it. Let's 
just get out of here. I'll drive. Let me give up. Just let go. Let go. Let go. So you are the little devils that killed my soldiers. So I guess we'll wrap it up here. That's General Barkov, who's the main antagonist in Modern Warfare. And this part, uh... Oh, press any button. So I guess we'll wrap it up here then guys, thank you guys for watching, I will see you guys on the next one, take care everyone, have a wonderful day guys.